Le groupe de travail a fini à 5h20 ce matin. Tout est gagnable dans ces dernières 24 heures. Donc on va baisser la garde sur rien. So we are calling, calling on the parties to make sure that there is a process to review the national pledges before 2020, to come back to the table to do more than they've been able to do so far. A party still without ambition, a party still without justice, a party still without these rights. It's just a deal for the 1%. Stop playing political poker with the future of our children and their children in the last 24 hours or so of these negotiations. Every mine pit, every oil well, and every gas flare location is a crime scene. It shouldn't really be complicated. It, it, it really isn't that hard. So to see rich governments still throwing hundreds of billions of dollars per year at the fossil fuels that are driving the climate crisis, dispossessing people of their lands, dispossessing people of their livelihoods, having no regard for human rights, it's not appropriate, it's not acceptable, and it's hypocritical. We don't want ministers to become to sleep at the end of the cup. We want this momentum, this political impetus to be conserved by the end of the cup and making sure that critical elements are in the Paris agreements. It's not just for the sake of farmers. We need to have good mitigation and good adaptation practices. We need to build resilience into farming, not just for us, but since we produce your food, it's for everyone. If we're in trouble, you're in trouble. Nous voulons un accord. Nous sommes extrêmement proches du but nous devons donc faire preuve de la responsabilité nécessaire pour trouver dans les heures qui viennent un terrain d'entente universel. Five years ago, the turning point was about new solutions that were not yet profitable. Today, what is really different and what might make the big change in COP21 is the fact that the solutions exist and are profitable. Yo, yo. The mama earth is in a crazy mess, it's time for us to do a best. From deep sea straight back to Everest. She under crazy stress unless you wanna be motherless. Clean heart, green heart is the way I stress. Speediness and too much greediness. Six billion people all want plentiness. Some people feel that this is harmless. But if we continue, they'll only be emptiness. I'd like to congratulate all of the winners tonight and invite you up here to take a picture for everyone. You're welcome to come to. So I'm very glad that we don't have a final text today because if that's the nature of the text, it is something that is totally unacceptable. Nous sommes devant un risque d'écocide. Cette conférence est préparée depuis cinq ans et nous ne voyons rien émerger, rien de ce texte qui soit à la hauteur, même au niveau du vocabulaire, à la hauteur des enjeux. Let's be very clear, 1.5 degree is not a new invention. It is being talked about by scientists for the last 15 years, 20 years, but it was inconvenient to talk about 1.5 degrees because then you would be talking about the use of the carbon budget by the rich. We do not only have to have a target, but we need to have the tools and the mechanism clearly in. Pourquoi il y a des blocages ici pour obtenir un accord qu'on dit ambitieux, etc. C'est qu'on ne fait pas un accord international en faisant la somme d'intérêts nationaux. Il faut qu'il y ait autre chose qui dépasse les intérêts nationaux. It's time to be reflected in the international level. Having Saudi Arabia speaking on behalf of the Arab group and the blocking 1.5 degrees is not acceptable. And other Arab countries should stand up and move forward 
with support to other vulnerable countries and least developing countries. And I just wanted to show those of you that have not seen in the New York Times today, in the international version, um, Avaz have done an advert um, calling on, on leaders to show leadership and not brinkmanship here over the next 24 hours. Thank you. Je veux rappeler que la COP21, dans le monde entier, chez tous les citoyens de cette planète, a levé un magnifique espoir. Et que cet espoir est une promesse que nous n'avons pas le droit de décevoir. Nous ne pouvons pas ajouter à la misère la moindre humiliation. Mahatma Gandhi once said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. If Gandhi was right, let's be clear, they're not ignoring us, they're not laughing us, they're fighting us, and let's hope that means we are one step away from winning. Il y a un mot clé qui doit émerger, être incarné dès la fin de la COP 21, la solidarité. Et la solidarité ne se négocie pas, elle se construit. Voilà ce qui se joue en ce moment. How many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail? The answer, my friend. Nous voici donc presque au bout du chemin et sans doute au début d'un autre. S'il est adopté, ce texte sera donc un tournant historique et plus généralement, cette COP21 est un véritable tournant. The wheel of climate action turns slowly, but in Paris, it has turned. This is now a new floor upon which we have to build more work. We need to have a powerful signal coming out of today. And if we get that signal, we know that investors and business will unlock the trillions necessary to shift our economy to a low carbon economy. We are here living with a free conscience that we have done everything in our power to send the message across. This agreement clearly did not deliver the kind of ambition that is needed. The reviews are too weak, too late, and absolutely no basis in the requirements of climate science. When I go back to my country, the Philippines, what am I going to tell our people who want to hear something concrete and not just nice words without much meaning? Tous ces efforts doivent maintenant trouver leur conclusion. À quoi aurait servi ce travail s'il ne débouchait pas sur un accord universel? contraignant et différencié. Chers amis, euh, veuillez nous excuser de vous avoir fait un petit peu attendre. When we travel home to our far-flung islands in the vast Pacific Ocean, we can confidently tell our children that we have set a course towards delivering the climate ambition and climate justice that they and all our people demand. I have been saying for a long time, we must, we can, and I used to say we will. Today we can say we did, and I thank you all. J'invite maintenant la COP à adopter le projet de décision intitulé Accord de Paris, qui figure dans le document. Je regarde euh, la salle, je vois que la réaction est positive, je n'entends pas d'objection. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté.
La séance est levée. La COP est terminée. Thank you, France. Y felicita a Francia. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President.